Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of our Minecraft 1.14 Let's Play. Hope you guys are all doing well today. I'm doing fantastic. Today is episode 73 and I have got an awesome episode planned for you guys. But before we get into the video, let's go ahead and do our question of the day. So previously I've asked you about Minecraft a ton. So my question for you today, what do you feel is your greatest gaming achievement did you beat a certain game that you like thought was the hardest thing ever did you beat the water temple on oot like what do you think is your greatest achievement let me know down in the comment section below if you guys enjoy this series and you want to see more make sure you hit the like button subscribe and turn on notifications when the videos come out let's get into it i want to thank today's sponsor of the video which is playcraftia.com you guys can find the links to this server in the description below this is a custom 1.13 1.14 survival server with custom content such as dungeons economy land claim and much much more there's guilds on the server and it's a lot of fun to play on so guys be sure to check out the links in the description and check out the server itself all right everybody starting off today's episode over at the mob spawner gonna have a little bit of fun today so last time we were here we finished up the spawner and we're getting like tremendously good drops right like that's definitely not where i want to go with that i want to go over here 15 16 is good um so we're getting lots of mobs apparently not uh, uh, we were getting lots of good mobs and tons and tons of good loot the issue that we're running into now is that we need storage. So we are, dude, seriously, what's going on here? You're making me nervous game. Okay, we're getting mobs again. Phew. <laughs> Anyways, so we gotta set up storage today. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this chest, can form the hoppers into the middle and then have automated storage underneath. So to do so, the first thing that we need to do is we need to look in here and decide what is going to be stored so let's say gunpowder rotten flesh arrows uh string bone we'll probably do spider eyes uh, i'm trying to think about what else would probably come in there so these are the main drops and then oh, these spiders kill that okay, okay never mind. he killed himself that that worked out pretty well um this is a good indication of what else would be in there that seems like sort of the main stuff creeper zombie stupid spider leave me alone <laughs> oh my god there's another one they're everywhere man anyway so creeper zombie uh spider spider and then skeleton that's really the that's all that falls in there there's the probably occasional witch but for the most part it looks like we're going to need at least six spaces for automated storage now what i'll probably end up doing is making multiple spaces because if we afk here say we turn this into like maybe a wither rose farm this could uh, produce tons and tons of afk storage so those spiders dude i'm telling you they're everywhere i did a little bit of prep for this episode i went back over to the uh kind of village base and grabbed a few things including all the rest of my redstone the iron farm has been running afk the entire time we've been here i think we have five full double chests full of iron now so um there's some empty ones a bunch of iron and then a bunch of redstone and stuff so what we're gonna do like i said we're going to set this up to run down the middle here so the hopper will flow down from there we need to kind of pick a direction. So let's fly out here and see what we consider. I would consider the side that doesn't have redstone on it to sort of be the front. I think this is the front. So I want to consider it like when I come in here, I want to land right here and see the storage looking forward. So the hopper will run back this way. And so let's kind of kind of grab these. Um, so to run this way, and then depending on sort of which way we have it go, uh, it'll probably go around from there. So over, back, forward. We are going to be doing um, a very, very uh, popular setup for automation for storage. So we'll have like our chests. So consider these like our chests. And then on the back of that, we'll have the hoppers coming into the front. And then we'll have a central line of hoppers that run into that like that and then back here we'll have the comparator set up where it compares it and then you got the redstone and all that good stuff so we've got a pretty good solid plan here 
So what I think I want to do next is I think I want to go ahead and get kind of a rough outline of how I want this to look in terms of where we're going to have chess place and, you know, things like that. So give me uh, a hot moment here and I'll get that all sorted and we'll come back. I'm getting, oh, okay. He can see me from there. That's probably not, I don't think I want that to blow up. So anyways, um, yeah, let me get that and we'll be back. Okay, guys. So I have, um, I have kind of roughed everything out of how I want it to kind of look. Let me get some more torches down. It's a little bit dark up here. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw phantoms spawning soon. It's been a couple days since I have slept in game. Um, so here's how I kind of want to do this. I kind of wanted a front. So I lined it up with the front of the spawner because I consider where the redstone is to be the back portion, which would be, I think, probably right back there. So the front is the other side. Um, got all of our hoppers in here. Now I was considering doing something a little bit lower, maybe two tall instead of three tall. But I do like the way that this looks. I think we're gonna stick with it. So I have rearranged our hoppers and they are going to flow uh, this way. So we're gonna go through the floor here, right there. I don't think we'll probably go upstairs very much because I, I mean, I want to, but at the same time, I don't want to. So what we need to do is we need to set a end block here, which will be right there. And then um, in the floor, so right here, we got to go all the way around and line it up on top of what we already have. Just like so. There we go. We got to be super, super careful because I don't want those creepers to see me. Get rid of that. Okay, so now that that's all taken care of, sorry, I'm trying to remember to put the microphone in front of my mouth. By the way, the sound will be should be fixed this episode. I uh, forgot to transfer my Adobe profile, and uh, that's why it was kind of low. So, anyways, uh, so we'll have it come from here. So we need to work backwards. So let's just start right here and go all the way around. So from there, here I'm gonna fly up there and do it. It'll be so much easier. All right. There we go. I was thinking about trying to figure out a way to um, have this thing be able to shut off. The only thing that I could really think of, though, was to just have like lights up there, which, you know, could totally be a possibility. There we go. So this will be our central line for all of the redstone. There we go. And then for our like our sorter, We'll put some blocks here and then run uh, our hoppers like up here. So one more, there we go. Out that way. Then we can set them to run off repeaters. So that's how we'll set that all up. So just to kind of show you, I'm, I'm assuming everybody knows how to do the sorter already, but if you don't know how to do it, this is how you do it. So you put a block here um, and you need this to be running a comparator. So you just put a comparator off of that there we go. And from there you have, now there's a few different ways you can do this, but I like to put a block there and then you just run it down, right? On top of that, you have redstone just like that. Very good. Very good. Break that block out and put a block underneath of it and then put a block in front of it. Just like that. This, I think this was made by JL. Um, not Psycraft, but the guys, Zip Crowd, I think. Zip Crowd made this. So that's the, the gist of it. And then you actually need to set a filter. So to set the filter, which I think it goes in this one. Yeah. So you use like a non-conspicuous block. So for this, we'll use wood. Set four in each. And then for the item that you want to be filtered, say I want stone brick. I would put six in there. So when I have a seventh come in, it goes down into the next portion and goes into storage. So now we just set the filter all the way around, build all of them. And it's pretty simple, right? So that's what I'm going to do now. All right, guys, it's time to finally set the filters. Let me just go through here. I killed a bunch of mobs a minute ago and I wanna make sure that these chests are all empty. Opening chests really fast when you have like a 32 render distance on is pretty laggy. All right, let me fix that video settings. There we go. 
so a few things i ran back to the base grabbed some item frames i couldn't find any more leather i thought i had more but i guess not so let's land real fast everything is pointed downwards so we should be good there so here's what we're gonna do uh we're gonna do bones arrows rotten flesh gunpowder there we go string um oh and for all of these we're gonna need at least um let's do just like grab a stack of each since we have so much there we go put all that back up there uh gunpowder spider eyes sticks from witches um i don't think i don't really have any other witch drops i had some glowstone but not a lot um not gonna get bone meal so that's like those are the very first sets of drops that we will use the the chests right after that will collect a lot of the other stuff so like there's some glowstone i don't have enough glowstone though so what i could end up doing is using uh multiple sets of chests for each one so let's okay so let's set the filter i've already got the cobblestone in pretty much all of them um so let's see oh that one's already got items in it let's take that out of there uh okay so we need to put uh six in each so we've got arrows done then bones then take that down there rotten flesh there we go all right uh, i've also expanded the platform as you can see uh we're gonna eventually build some kind of stationary platform here i'm just not sure what yet so we already did rotten flesh uh so we did what well, we did we did uh, uh arrows bones rotten flesh okay cool so then uh, string spider eyes take those out of the way gunpowder and then number four will be sticks eventually i will get more of the witch drops up there so let's go ahead and kill some mobs and just kind of see i thought i saw a spider there for a second officially losing it let me put this stuff up real fast so um we'll kind of have a better idea once we start killing some mobs what'll happen i really do think i'm i just jumped right off the edge with no rockets failure aside let's go ahead and start killing some mobs i think i'm excited oh, that's a creeper okay well creeper you're in the wrong spot pal you're not supposed to be right there <laughs> all right so once they start falling down we should be good to go man all right so let's just see what happens we should we should be good to go the only thing i could think that would be a problem oh i should be repairing that let me <laughs> kill two birds with one stone here so these should start uh funneling drops into that and of course when i'm trying to test it it's just like the super super slow thing ever you know not not a big deal it's been working perfectly up until this very second and when i need it to work no big deal at all <laughs> Come on, game. Work with me here, pal. All right, so that's... Um, oh, lots of creepers. Wow. Okay, now we're getting mobs. There we go. Fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. Stupid spider. Okay, so there was our first witch there, too. Okay, so let me put my armor back on real fast. And jump downstairs. So those um, should have been filtering items. So let's just check the hopper here. Everything is flowing. Uh, so arrows, bones, rotten flesh, string, spider eyes, gunpowder, no sticks. So I think the last chest will pick up things like potatoes and or actually, I guess once we got past the filter. Uh, okay, so I think what's happening right now is the ones that don't have items in the filter are picking them up so it's weird that it's getting past did we i i thought we did one for spider eyes i thought it was like over here so it looks like possibly yeah items are getting past because there was unless those spider eyes were already there of course they which they could have totally been but i think what what's happening is yeah things like sugar and other little items are just getting past the filter 
so once we have all those filters filled in yeah redstone so nothing is going in there unless it's already been there cool so yeah everything looks like it's working perfectly i just need to finish filling in the filters and stuff like that but uh, i think we're going to go ahead and move on we've already worked on this enough today when we come back we're going to work on the design for this and it's not going to be all stone brick shocking all right, so I, I want to have a little bit of fun today. We always build farms and stuff, but we never really just do do cosmetic things in this world very often. Like, for example, the Emerald Cave. I want to do another one over here. And so one of the like lorry things that we had set up for this like kind of base was like a hidden jungle temple, right? You find the temple and you kind of get all the treasure and all that good stuff. So I think we're going to remove this and uh, actually hide some diamonds over here. Now, it's a very simple thing to do, obviously, but I think it just adds a little bit of fun to the game. Like, even though we're playing single player and uh, it'll probably never come of any kind of use, it's still fun, right? Like, and that's the point of the game. Sometimes I think we lose a little bit of perspective, right? Like we're so caught up in automation and trying to make everything like absolutely perfect. I am 1000% in that group. I'm a perfectionist through and through. Um, and I think this is a lot of fun to be honest with you. So is there any types of uh, things in your world that you do like this? Like sometimes you just kind of stash stuff or whatever. All right, so over here and put all this up. Oh, I had hoppers and pistons over here. Lucky. Is there any food in these? Oh, oh, that's where the other observers went. I've been looking for those. <laughs> no idea where they went. All right. Um, so let's fill this grass back in real fast. Do that. All right. So, yeah, I, I just didn't like the way that that farm had turned out either. So in our little hidden area over here, which we'll, we're going to do multiples of these, it's going to be a diamond one. Uh, so let's grab some diamonds and make some diamond blocks. That's 14. Uh, let's do some ore too. So there's going to be like a, like a diamond, like little stash over here, guys. And it's going to be amazing like that. And then let's put like one on top right there. So kind of like a little pile of diamonds there. And then uh, actually kind of feel like that's almost too big. Let's get rid of like that one and that one perfect uh almost perfect like that there we go yeah that'll do and then let's do another one like right here oh i'm getting attacked you and your stupid ugly boots they look ugly all right and then uh, let me make let me make like what like a, just a, a few more blocks here there we go um and then put like one right there and then like no, no actually i'm gonna leave it like that Except for, I'm going to put it over here. Oh my God, leave me alone. All right. There we go. Then, going to take some diamond ore and sprinkle it throughout. And this will be like, like whoever finds this area, it's going to be like, holy crap, we just hit the jackpot. <laughs> we're, uh, we're doing pretty good for ourselves all of a sudden. Something like that, right? And then let's put one more right there we'll see what that looks like from the sky uh, i think it's gonna be really fun i love doing fun stuff like this sometimes it's really cool so you're flying you're like my god call indiana jones i found the diamond horde and then maybe there's some like booby traps back here so guys i'm flying around completely lost not really paying attention to where i'm going right the first thing that i have noticed about our area is all of the incredible stuff around the jungle first off we've got bamboo and we've got a lot of bamboo not only that though we have four villages so there's where we're going we have a village here uh let me actually go back over here real fast i need to land really quickly i need some more rockets but um I have an idea for a nether area that I want to try out soon. Uh, and I was collecting obsidian and I, I really just wanted to show you guys this. So we have like, we have like tons and tons of different things around here. But the most important one, I think I just found a second ago. It's about at, um, about a thousand seventeen hundred, which I guess would be straight this way. 
I had no idea this was over here. And this is the cool thing I think is Minecraft, right? When you're looking around, you don't really notice what you got near you until you stumble across it. So it should be like right here. Bam, we have a freaking Mesa right here. I had no idea this was even here. That, my friends, is good stuff. So if we ever need any sort of terracotta, anything like that, or just to have fun over here, we can come over here now and do that. All right, guys, so I am in the nether and I'm just kind of giving this a test to see if I'm gonna like it or not, right? Right now, I'm just kind of digging out a small area that leads down to where the new base is. Uh, and I want, oh, I'm in blocks already. Put that down. <laughs> I just want to dig a small area out. The nether is so easy for this kind of stuff. I want to make sure that I, I'm going to like this first. And that's another thing that's going to make me super, super nervous, right? Um, I have fire tick turned on right now. Um, but honestly, I should probably turn it off. I don't know. Uh, I forgot to um, I forgot to turn it off when we started. Typically, I had that turned off. Same with the Enderman griefing with the data packs. I don't know. I feel like data packs should be. I think I feel like they should be more popular than what they are. Data packs are amazing, man. There we go. So let's do the rest of this real fast. But I think the game plan here is to kind of make this like like I want the top of the room to be all nether like i want it to be nether rack but i want the bottom part of it to be all dirt like this and let's go ahead and get this my sole little piece of grass down because that's all i had <laughs> Ooh, grass in the nether is ugly i really thought it would be a different color um and so the way that we'll have this set up right is once that grass starts to spread we'll do some bone meal in the ground okay that's totally what i wanted but okay Build this all in there we go but i want like trees around and then we'll put like our nether portal uh kind of right in the middle i think i went and collected some obsidian too there we go fill all this in so what i'll do is is once we kind of have a border like we have the border now and then i'll probably kind of butt the nether rack up against the dirt and kind of shape it myself there we go there we go okay so from there we'll do like like right here and then i'll just kind of i don't know if i want to do it like that or not it doesn't need to be perfect obviously because that's not what we're going for here but i don't want i don't want flat ground where there's nether rack right i want it to be kind of like that i'm not gonna lie to you guys that pigment literally just made me about poop my pants there was almost a needed underwear change. Oh my God, that thing scared the crap out of me. <laughs> All right, so something like that, but obviously we don't want it that flat. And okay. So, oh, fill that in just a little bit more. Something like that. Kind of cover all this up a little bit. So I went a little bit too far on the outside here. So you kind of get the gist of what I'm going for. Like right there is kind of the perfect idea of that. Um, and then in certain spots, I would love to have like a tree or two. I don't know if we'll be able to get a tree to grow right there or not. Um, let's try another spot here, probably in the middle somewhere. I know for a fact you can grow trees in the nether. Maybe not. It may not be tall enough, but you kind of get the idea. Do you think this would be a good idea or not this is this is kind of a kind of a pilot of an idea so if you guys have any ideas for this let me know should we continue with this idea or not uh, i am going to go ahead and end the episode though guys if you enjoyed today's video make sure you hit the like button subscribe this is ijevin peace out everybody